Uh, for BPCL only, you know, all together, if you see, uh, I believe uh, long positions are being built in from uh, Friday, there have been built in today and I think, you know, further to a breakout of about 410, you will see aggressive long uh, build up, uh, you know, coming in uh, in BPCL, even in IOC, there has been a breakout above 165 already, so uh, it can come up towards the 200 to 25 odd level, so, you know, OMC is a year for uh, a very good uh, sign, uh, I believe. OMCs can move up uh, another uh, 10 to 15 percent probably in this month because the shorts haven't rolled over and that is a very good sign uh, for these stocks. Now you know coming to uh, Page Industries, uh, Page Industries has broken out above the 29,000 odd levels and uh, as you said there has been good open interest addition. However, open interest addition in this stock really doesn't matter much uh, because uh, it isn't really liquid. Uh, I believe uh, this stock can uh, come up towards the 29,500 29,700 odd levels. So one can buy at current levels with a stop loss of about 29,000 which was the breakout area and uh, for a target of 29,700. You know uh, coming back to LNT as you said LNT is in uh, a mid of a uh, huge uh, consolidation. This consolidation dates back for last three, four months. It has been consolidating in between about uh, 1,250 on the downside and about 1,400 on the upside. So uh, it is nearing its support area and I believe one can buy this stock around the 1,260, 1,270 odd levels. You can keep a stop loss of 1,240 and uh, this stock can again, you know, move towards 1,400 odd levels. It needs a huge breakout above 1,400 to, you know, uh, witness uh, aggressive buying coming in. There is no incremental longs which are being built in in this counter. However, the deliveries have been uh, pretty good uh, in this counter and believe it is just a matter of time before you know the breakout comes. So wait for that breakout above 1400 to add incremental positions. However, from trading per, uh, perspective, one can buy at 1260, 1270 odd levels, keep a stop loss of 1240 and expect 1400 to come. Well, that's the entry for you again. Uh, so some sort of uh, pullback actually is providing an entry opportunity for the bulls there. That's uh, the stock uh, for you. But uh, some more sort of open interest selections again which are looking interesting and add, are worth actually discussing at present. So another stock uh, which again is mine tree, almost 7.5% addition to open interest. Uh, looking uh, at present down 2%. Another stock again uh, as again we are talking about Metcap IT, Tata Lexi down 1%. Uh, so the observation here is, uh, Nero, that uh, our Metcap IT stocks are looking a sort of short candidate. Uh, and the uh, second question would be, is there any sort of uh, short uh, um, stock picks again which you want to share? In fact, uh, you've picked uh, the right, uh, you know, sector. Uh, the mid-cap IT space, you know, uh, what a very interesting thing has happened is in the last week, almost all had witnessed a breakout, but these breakouts did not sustain in the last one or two weeks. And, uh, you know, this hasn't been happening for quite some time. And this is the first time uh, which has happened that, you know, there has been uh, selling right after the breakout. So that means, you know, there is certain amount of selling pressure at the higher levels. You've seen uh, short built up uh, in Tata Alexi and uh, Mindtree today, I believe uh, if at all there is a trade uh, in these mid-cap uh, counters in the IT space, it, the trade is on the short side. Uh, one can, you know, short uh, Mindtree at current levels. You can keep a stop loss of 930 and uh, expect 900 or uh, 890 to come very soon. Uh, this looks weak uh, and probably there is increased amount of, you know, selling pressure uh, when it reached around 1050 levels. That can be seen with the volumes which had happened around those areas. Uh, the same is the case with Tata LXC, you know, there has been increased volume in the last week and looks like there is some distribution which is going on and one can short around current levels. There seems to be, uh, you know, quite amount of uh, selling pressure which is coming in into this counter. The shorts are being built in uh, incrementally at least for a, a day or two. One can go short at current levels with a stop loss of about 1450 and you can expect uh, 1420, 1410 to come probably today or uh, day after. Uh, if you look at uh, the other uh, IT, uh, you know, counters uh, like Infosys, TCS, all of those, you know, the large caps are continuing to witness, uh, you know, long formation. So there is no real short uh, formation there and th there is no real short trade there. So if at all there is a short trade, it is a uh, year and I don't think, you know, uh, one can be shorting in this market. The market has broken out very likely, you know, probably uh, in the second half or probably tomorrow you will see another uh, rally in Nifty and bank nifty coming so shorting uh, will be you know not the right thing to do 
Right. Uh, Nirav, thanks a lot for sharing us uh, all the insights into the stocks, uh, your top bets, and also the markets here. And that's a Nirav's take at present. Uh, looks like interesting times. A couple of uh, buy and sell bets are coming from Nirav here. And with that, it's a wrap on this edition of FNO Spotlight. And as we move into the break, uh, uh, let's uh, shift our focus to the Bank of Baroda, where the bank's profit again jumped up.